In this video, we're going to start looking at some of the very basics of graph sketching, curve sketching, you might hear it, or just simply drawing the rough shape of a graph. Now, at um, A level, you'll be required to often sketch. Sketch means you don't need to turn into Picasso overnight and get everything immaculate. The idea of a sketch is that it has to have some rough resemblance to what you're trying to draw. So, for example, if we were asked to draw something as straightforward as y is equal to 2x minus 1, to give us a rough indication of what this graph would look like, it's got a gradient of 2 and a y-intercept at negative 1. So this would be this would be acceptable. You could just quickly sketch up with a ruler and pencil something like this. If you end up with something like this so then that's clearly not going to be the case unless you're on some bizarre scale if you end up with something like that then that's not going to be the case either again unless you're on some bizarre scale so appreciating what roughly a graph will look like if we have now the following if we have y plus x is equal to 4 then can we graph that well yes we can straight line equation I always like to put this, you can plot points, or we could write this as y is equal to negative x plus 4, or y is equal to 4 minus x. So we got a gradient of negative 1, uh, and we got an, a y intercept of 4. So it would be perfectly acceptable to draw this graph now, it's something along that, those lines. So you can see now that we can have a flatter gradient than the one before, uh, that's going to be double. So it's going to look something like this. Now, if you were asked to sketch up points, then we could sketch up some points on here, and often you'll be asked to do that. So let's look. When y is going to be equal to 0, then x is going to be equal to 4. So we can put this point of intersection 4, 0 on. When x is 0, y is 4, so we can put this one on here. So we need to be comfortable with graphing straight lines. And out of interest, if you were asked to draw a quick um, perpendicular line to the one we've just drawn, then it would go through here and have a, um, a 90 degree right angle. It looks something like that. So let's sketch, and this is key, you'll be told to sketch things. It doesn't have to be outlandish, you just have to roughly sketch them. So if we were asked to sketch the graph y is equal to x cubed we should recognize straight away that this is going to look something like so it will come through the origin out the third quadrant now this is called the first quadrant q1 this is a quadrant to the second quadrant this is the third quadrant q3 and this is a fourth quadrant generally we don't say q1 two and three first second third quadrant if we had y is equal to negative x cubed then what we're going to have is something coming roughly through here and back out that way. So that's a rough idea of what it's going to look like. You should be comfortable just sketching these rough graphs up. Now, let's do a, a couple of graphs on top of each other. y is equal to x squared. Now, that's the obligatory parabola that everyone seems to use time in, time out. Anything that looks roughly like that is perfectly acceptable. So we could write this now, and here's some different notation. The f of x is equal to x squared. We could use the function. This it says a function of x is given to be x squared, and this is a parabola. We could also have a graph, a straight line on here, y is equal to x. Now y is equal to x is the one so many people manage not to draw. All it is is a straight line gradient of 1. So this line is y is equal to x gradient straight line so what we can do from this by purely sketching this we can see we can have two points of intersection and that can allow us to answer certain questions so it's a case of just getting used to these graphs well, in the next video we'll look at something slightly more technical the uh, reciprocal function y equals 1 over x the basic graph shape of that one is going to look something like this it's going to come around here and go through here and then this side of things will get that probably slightly closer to the x-axis it's just my poor drawing let's just make that look more like so and we can now hopefully 
you've seen or heard this word before. If not, we can introduce the idea of asymptotes. Asymptotes are where the graph is not defined. We can't divide one by zero. So put in asymptotes on here. We can have y is equal to one over x, where x cannot be zero. That would be a basic sketch of that graph. Let's look at a basic sketch of the um, exponential function y equals a to the x. We know too this is never going to cross the x-axis and we end up with this scenario. Okay, y is equal to a to the x where x is in the power and again we've got an asymptote just here and that would be a perfectly good sketch. We could label this point automatically as 0, 1, anything to the 0 power. If we have y is equal to 3 to the x, 3 to the 0 is 1. So this would be a good, straightforward bit of graphing. So these are the main ones. It's understanding rough shapes when you're asked to sketch rough points. We'll look at trigonometric ones in a later video and, and sort of branch out onto the harder stuff. But these are lines that you should be able to quickly draw, whether it's a case of getting these into the form y equals mx plus c and assessing the gradient and the y-intercept. The standard cubic, which is this one, and that's a negative cubic. The standard parabola, a negative parabola, will just be a reflection in the x-axis. And a rough sketch is fine, perfectly fine. This is uh, the f of x is equal to negative x squared. We may even call that the g of x as we've got an f of x. g of x simply means we've got another graph on there as not to confuse the f of x and the g of x. 1 over x with your asymptotes. Your asymptotes are the x and y axis. Asymptote on the x axis. y equals a to the x, the exponential function. So there we go. There's some basics. In the next video, we'll look at some exact points on a graph.